Good evening, everyone. This is Roy Smiller coming at you with a new weekly segment that uh, I'm having a little trouble naming. I'm thinking propped up, but I'm not sure. Um, one of my favorite things is uh, prop replicas because, I don't know, I like holding a piece of something from a movie, show, or video game that I really like. And for the introductory episode, the birth, if you will, I chose a bit of an interesting one. The Dilophosaurus Hatchling. Now this isn't technically a film replica in so many words, but it is kind of a replica in that it's sort of based on the Jurassic Park style dinosaur. And have and um, I and I you know really do love Jurassic Park and the dinosaurs within it. Um, so yeah, the Dilophosaurus. For those of you who don't know, uh, I believe. Well, okay, in the movie, it's a smaller creature. You know, about like three or four feet high. And it ha it's the it's the frilled lizard monster that spits venom. Um, in real life, though, it wasn't like that. It grew to be like ten feet tall or something, and it didn't have the frill as far as we know. And it definitely didn't spit, you know, gross black goo. Uh, but this was created by Kayakasaurus, uh, a YouTube Etsy creator who did, uh, who, who does like 3D, 3D modeling and stuff. And it's a fantastic piece. Uh, I did paint it myself. Um, as you can see, it, you know, it, it probably could, could tell just because of how rough it looks. But I mean, Honestly, though, it, I, I would say that it being looking a little rough, it, it does kind of help it because that makes it look less like, a, you know, it, it looking ununiform is more natural, don't you think? Like, nature is flawed. There is, uh, you know, like, if you see something that looks just a little too perfect, it's probably man-made. But uh, anyway, um, I base the paint coloring sort of on the uh, the Ford Explorers from the film. You know, the 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 sort of red and green. But that was just a little too Christmassy, so I went with an orange color. I also kind of based it on the uh, Dilophosaurus action figure, which had a very lovely like red tint to the to, to the crest. Um, yeah. I... Trying to find it for the camera here. Uh, yeah. Getting a little bit of the backlight from my own reflection there. Um, so yeah, uh, in in so Kakasaurus actually made a fantastic video where he had uh, made these for his for some of his favorite YouTubers and sent them out. And you know, the, I wasn't among those obviously. That I I ordered this off Etsy. I can't remember how much it was. I think it was like. 50 to 70 dollars but very good piece very worth it it excellent especially if you're a model painter so you're not going to believe this but i actually originally uh did this guy in khaki because you want a base coat to make sure that your later coats will adhere to in fact uh, some of the bits and bobs on this guy are painted over multiple times because i just <coughs> excuse me couldn't decide on what I wanted for him. Uh, but I, I am very pleased with what I ended up with. Um, there are some little weird bits that I think were just him sticking to paper towels when I when he still had wet paint. I may have to get get break out the paints again looking at him. You know, it's been a couple months since I touched this guy. Um, it's a... It's a very detailed piece, too. So, like, uh, Dilophosaurus is very well known. Like, it, historically speaking, it had the, it has this weird little fringe 
under the nostrils there. And then he even modeled the cloaca, which is a little weird, but, you know, it's, it's realistic. I mean, well, okay, it's realistic as far as we know. Now, everyone jokes like, oh, well, dinos all dinosaurs had feathers. That's not factually the case. Tyrannosaurus actually did not have dinosaurs, or did not have feathers. As uh, Realistically, it was probably more of a leathery skin, more akin to an elephant. But I, I prefer this. I prefer the pebbly scale texture of you know the of the Jurassic Park dinosaurs it looks gorgeous um and uh but um so and then one thing was that in his in his video Kayakosaurus talked about like how to paint these and what he like he used a chameleon for uh or for his like frame of reference for most of them and I kind of did too, but the, the thing is, I I used uh, acrylic paints, which don't, which it's, they're not conducive to the kind of like detail painting that you necessarily want to do with these. Like, uh, you can't make a wash with acrylic paint. I could technically, I guess, make a wash with oil paint now that I have some oil paints, but I need some mineral spirits for that, and I don't particularly care to get some mineral spirits. Um, and yeah, it's in this lovely little pose where, you know, it looks like it's a hatchling, you know, it looks like it's in an egg. And I would say that this is pretty realistic to how big they probably really were, too, given, you know, they grew to be 10 feet tall, that's what, that's like double your average human height, give or take, and they would lay a clutch of eggs, so, you know, this would be one of, you know, like, six or seven eggs, probably. Also, it, it's got toe beans. Look at that. It's got a little toe beans, like, giddy. But it's a lovely, lovely piece, and I'm glad to own it, glad to have it, glad to have gotten to work with one. Um, the others are, like... I believe there's an Allosaurus and a uh, Triceratops. I forget the I forget the like actual names of these of these uh, dinosaurs that because to me it's you know I I'm kind of more in the uh, 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 I'm kind of more in the uh, uh, Land Before Time camp of not knowing the actual names of half of them. So it's like. Oh, you know, that's not uh, Brachiosaurus and uh, da 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 and yada da, da it's, They're all just, like, long neck or whatever. You, like, you, it's, it's amazing I know the, na the names of dinosaurs that I do, like Dilophosaurus, Compagthenius, Compies, you know, the... They, they eat the Russian. They eat the, they eat the cosmonaut from Armageddon. Uh, Carnotaurus, which I always really liked because it was basically a T-Rex with horns, and that's always cool. Uh, and, uh, a Plesiosaurus, you know, Loch Ness Monster. You know, I, I know the main ones. I, I know the cool ones. But, you know, so, I just wanted to introduce you to my little guy here. Boop, 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 boop. I'm going to try to make this a weekly segment where I just talk briefly about these props, why I own them, why I like them, and, you know, my relationship to the films. I love Jurassic Park. I grew up with it. Um, weirdly, I... So this is going to sound weird and dumb, but I don't really care for the second half of the film. I, I'm just in it for the first half where it's full of wonder and delight. Like, oh man, these guys are just doing all this fun stuff and a cool like theme park with dinosaurs and like I know I know that's like the first film is mm, I mean like it's not a good reflection of the book it's based on the book is much darker it's much more critical like cause you know 
Michael Crichton's whole thing was science will be abused by capitalism. And that is true. And we see it in the modern day. You Like, you have all these companies trying to go into AI or cryptocurrency. You, you know, they, they want to just do the next big thing when they don't even understand it. And that is because capitalism is inherently bad. You know, it, it's... It's not a hard concept to grasp, and uh, I, uh, look, I don't want to make this too political. Like, uh, kill, kill your masters, eat the rich, yada yada yada. Um, Black Lives Matter, trans rights, human rights. There, I said it. Uh, but no, this is this is a great piece, and. If Kay Kayakasaurus ever does reopen his Etsy shop, uh, well, if he ever puts these back up on his Etsy shop, I highly recommend getting one. If you can afford it, obviously, you know. it's This was a bit of an expenditure for me. I can't imagine other people. And I can imagine some other people might have qualms about paying that much money for a, you know, like, what is that, uh, six-inch figure? And the hard part will be getting him in an egg. No, I, I can't do that. I think this paint is water-soluble. Um, well, yeah, so that's it for me. You you all have a good weekend. Uh, I'll be back next Saturday with a very special item that I've been wanting to show off for a while. And uh, thank you all, and you have a good weekend. This is Royce Miller signing out.